silky smooth. It's so silky smooth. It's not like it doesn't deliver its power like the Volvo 850 T5, the green one. Like that, that had a wilder edge to it. <laughs> a wilder edge to it. <laughs> I can't use this on YouTube. Um, yeah, the 850 T5 had, had a wilder edge. This has got like a refined, um, like I was on the drive back and I was thinking, well, it's not that fast, but you got the V8 and then, you know, cruising along and I looked out at the speedo. <laughs> I was like, all oh, right. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't have the raw um, kind of, I think the thing with the Volvo 850 T5 is it shouldn't be fast because it's a wagon. This feels totally different. It's relaxed, it's comfortable, it's capable. Um, it's other words that end in bull. And um, it's, it does have a real sense of occasion to it. This is gonna be an interesting video review. When I actually get around to posting my YouTube video review, um, hang on, hold that thought. Kick down. Form like a like a rich custardy pudding that you just want to have more and more and more of. It's not like it's not like a tangy tart. It's not cheeky like a donut. It's like a rich British proper pudding with custard that you just want to keep eating and eating and eating until you're sick. I'm not quite sure if that made sense, um, but what I'm trying to say is. I like this car a lot more than I did on the drive earlier. Um, I think it's easy to get frustrated with this car, this particular car. And like I said, there will be a proper YouTube review of the Jaguar XK in general, um, and, and, you know, along with the walk arounds of this car and some photos and all the rest of it. I've just got back, charged my phone up a bit, and now I'm having to go out to shop again, um, which is a good excuse to do a bit of filming and do the whole mm, thing. Um, there's quite a lot that I don't like about this car, if I'm honest, which are a lot of things that I didn't expect to find that I don't like. In fact, I think I thought that I would like this car more than I did, did do, if that makes sense. I like it now more than I did earlier, um, but driving slowly and not wanting to use all the fuel up on the way back gave me a lot of time to think about all the things that I don't like. And then when you put your foot down, it, none of that really matters. Because what matters is the smooth power delivery from that four liter V8. There's no turbo. It's not a big, it's not a big, big power V8. I think it's 290 horsepower. So it's not huge by, by V8 standards generally. But it, it's, it's the way it does it. It's the way it feels. And it's the way it does it like in a, yeah, whatever. That was nothing, you know? That's the way the Jag delivers its power. It's just a, yep, yeah, why not? You, you wanna do that again? I'll do that again, do it all day long. That, that, that's, how, that's how the Jag caters for it. Yes, it's got some problems, like the saggy headlining that you can see. Quick one on saggy headlinings, right, in cars generally, because I've bought a lot of cheap cars and I've had a lot of cars with saggy headlinings. One, it massively puts you off the car. Because you go to buy a, buy a car, test drive a car, view a car, whatever, you jump in and you go, ah, oh, really? But it's not an expensive thing to sort out. Um, whether you buy one from a scrapper, whether you have one done, whether you do one yourself, it's not an expensive thing to do a headlining. But it totally ruins a car. So I can understand why if you're watching this video, you'll be like, oh, I don't want that. But don't concentrate on the headlining flapping in the wind, right? Because it's not that bad. Do concentrate on the wooden steering wheel and the noise it makes when I get off this roundabout. It's very different. I mean, 
I've had some, you know, by cheap car standards, I've had some fairly fast cars on the YouTube channel. Um, you know, Pablo was almost 300 horsepower, manual gearbox, wooden steering wheel, the Volvo 50 T5, the green one. Um, again, you know, almost 300 horsepower, front wheel drive, automatic gearbox. Um, what else? And even looking back to like the Daimler, the XJ40 I had, which actually ended up being the car that I drove faster than any of the other Jeff cars whilst out and about doing filming and delivering cars and buying cars and whatever. That was the car that I hit the highest number on the speedo of. Um, hang on, we're gonna do it again. It would just keep going. It would just keep going. There's a different feeling to this car than the, uh, check that's not a police car. There's a different feeling to this car than the 850T5 and Pablo. You know, when you get up to those higher speeds in a, in a T5 or, or in Pablo, it's like, yeah, go on, it's gonna keep going, it's gonna keep going. But the way you say that is like, you believe it's gonna keep going. The car thinks it's gonna keep going, but in reality, it's not gonna keep going in the way that this does. I'll give you, this is the way I'm gonna describe it, right? We've just got a new kitten in our house. Two new cats in the Jeff household this week. Um, one, the Jaguar, and two, a kitten uh, called Coconut Sparkle Face, if you must know. And we have a larger cat called Kovu. Uh, he's a couple of three years old. And um, he's the boss of the house. And the, the kitten is, you know, jumping around the house and doing this, that, and the other. And, and the bigger cat is just looking at her and being like, so what? I've been doing that for ages. That's the difference between the four litre V8 Jaguar and the Volvo T5 and your Pablos and your Saab Aero Hots and all the rest of it. That's the difference. Yes, the kitten, the T5, the Aero Hot, the Pablo can jump onto the sofa, but he has to tell everybody that he's done it and then look around and check who was looking. Meanwhile, the big cat, not only jumped onto the sofa, but was also able to get up onto the windowsill and out into the fresh air. Whilst looking back at the kitten being like, well, you can't do that, so screw you. <laughs> I hope that it is, has somehow explained my jag. Um, during the process of filming this video, I have understood this car a lot better than I did earlier, and um, possibly lost my driving license. But, I got to the shop before closing time, I think. Actually, I, I'm not sure that I have. Uh, anyway, whether I have or not, um, I don't know, just nobody shops late, do they, anymore? Is it open? What is the time? I have no idea, because I haven't had my phone for the last four or five hours. And, uh, as you can probably tell, oh, Skoda Octavia VRS. Um, as you can probably tell, I'm a little bit lost without it. Should we park up next to that Octavia and do a little video? Yeah, let's do that. Jeff buys cars. Still, YouTube's most boring car channel.